Hello friends, in today's class, we are going to talk about another parameter passing mechanism that is called as call by copy restore. Another name is call by value result. Welcome again and uh, the next parameter passing mechanism is your call by copy re restore or value result. So, okay, uh, so let me read out this uh, the definition here and then we'll, I'll explain you what exactly uh, this, uh, this parameter passing me mechanism does. So first of all, the, the main term, it's a hybrid between call by value and call by reference. Okay, so this is one of the common, uh, let's say important point that it's a hybrid algorithm. So it's a hybrid of uh, call by value, some property call by value. And it is using some property of call by reference. Okay, now before control flows to the call procedure, the actual parameter is evaluated. The R values of actuals are passed to the call procedure just as in call by value. In addition, L values of those actual parameter having L value are determined before the call. So the first statement says is that you pass like call by value. We pass the parameter. You pass parameter as in call by value. Parameter as in call by value. Like what we pass here is the R value or we are going to pass. So suppose my call is something like foo A and B. And suppose A value is 10. Location L value is suppose 1000 and B is 20. And suppose it is 2000. Okay. So if it is the case, then we will pass 10 and 20. Huh? We will pass here strictly. We will pass 10 and 20. So we are going to pass 10 and 20 only. But we will compute L value of actual. So in the addition to that, we'll compute L value of location value is 1000. That will compute and we'll compute B location value is 2000. So we'll compute this thing additionally. So this computation is addition, additional computation. Additional computation. When control returns, okay, so that is the, now the next part is that when the control return, the current value of R value of formal parameter. So there will be a formal parameter, formal parameter. So there will be some formal parameter, formal parameter. So R value of formal parameter, R value of formal. So suppose this function is implemented as suppose foo and int c comma int d. And suppose uh, uh, C is plus plus and D is also plus plus. So now first of all C and D are my formal parameter and R value if I if I copy the value here is 10 and this value is 20 and then in that case C plus plus will become 11 and this will become 21. Okay. So now when, when, when the control will return, control will return. So this R values of C and D, huh? these are both are what? These are both our R value, R value of C and D. So here, uh, when the control, uh, uh, when the control, uh, the, the control returns from the current R value of formal parameter, which is 11 and 21, are copied back to the L values of actual. So this, this location that we computed that uh, 1000 and 2000, these values will be copied back. Okay? In which case, the most important point here in this case is when the control returns. And that means after termination of the function, after termination. Okay. So this location will be copied back here and it will become, certainly it will become, uh, it will be no longer 10 and it will be no longer 20 because I'll just come back and I'll change the value. So now it will become, it will become 11 and this will become 21. So the sequence huh? and the most important part of this call by copy restore is the sequence of event, huh? sequence of event. 
and you change the event and in that case the whole thing will be disturbed or answer will not be correct okay so let's see an example of call by copy raised to welcome again and uh, this is the example that i have taken for this call by copy copy restore or value result both are same okay so to demonstrate this uh, I'll, i'll also show you that uh, how this uh, this parameter passing will work in case of uh, call by reference okay so i will do both huh? so i'll do here in this case is i'll do a call by reference also will do and also i'll compare that parameter passing mechanism will our parameter passing mechanism just now we learned is call by copy restore okay so both i'll do here so let's uh, first complete the this part that call by reference part and in that call by reference part what we have is uh, is is a uh, uh, this uh, uh, this is a function declaration and this part is a global variable so i will call it as ag and uh, value is not assigned here so that's fine so now here in the main function we are assigning a equal to 10 and whatever the global or uh, uh, sorry static or dynamic uh, this ag value will be only assigned with the value 10 then we are passing a uh, foo one so if it is a call by reference then this location address will be passed here okay so b will contain here b contains b will contain in call by reference b will contain l value of ag okay so it will contain l value of ag so suppose it is 1000 so now b will contain 1000 now something like this uh, situation will happen that b will now you know pointing to this particular location now here in in this uh, the next statement is a is equal to a plus 3 and the assessment is that because a is a global variable okay a is a global variable what will happen in this case a is equal to a plus 3 will make it uh, this value as uh, this value will become 10 plus 3 and here this 10 plus 3 this value will become uh, 13 so this value will become 13 in this case when you say this part that b is equal to b plus 5 so here b is also pointing to the same location and again what will happen is this that this uh, 13 value will be changed to what it will be changed to b is equal to b plus 5 so that will become 13 plus 5 and this value will become 18 so now you say print f a a is a what a is a global variable okay it's a global variable and in that case this value will be printing here in this case is 80 function terminates and we come back again over here and here it is the same global one and that will also print the value 18 so the value in case of call by reference that will be printed here in this is 18 comma 18 uh here uh, the only uh, here call by value uh here in call by value that ag and b is a same parameter okay so b g and i can say a g and b are pointing to or points to same location okay so uh, we are done with call by called by uh, this uh, reference parameter passing mechanism uh, let's uh, talk a bit about this uh, call by uh, value result here okay so let me just take out this part uh, which i have done for this calculation of okay so this uh, will i will just take it out and i'll just take it out this part also and here I'll, i so don't require this okay so just uh, taking out all those annotations okay now b a g is what we don't know right now okay great so now now in call by value result uh, or copy restore uh, parameter passing mechanism uh, we pass the r value of the parameter so the moment you'll say a uh, foo and here the right now the current value is uh, 10 so we will pass 10 okay in call by value result uh, this will say that pass 10 as parameter okay 10 as parameter so fine we'll pass 10 and intb intb is what your uh, it's a formal parameter 
and uh, this formal parameter will contain b is equal to 10 so that has been copied b is equal to 10 in addition and the time of the passing that we will calculate that the l value of ag and we'll calculate here l value of a global variable is equal to 1000 so this calculation will be done at the time of passing 1000 now so there are two sets of variable here in this uh, parameter there are two different variables are there two different variables are there uh, the first one is your uh, the local one the local b and second one is global a there is no relation but in uh, in in call by reference they both are same variable uh, point to the same location now a is equal to a plus 3 so a g a g is a global one will become 10 plus 3 and a g will become what 13 and here this value will become 13 okay so this value will change and will change it to 13 fine great b is equal to b plus 5 b value is what 10 so b is equal to b is 10 plus 5 and that value will become 15 so b value is, is a different value is a different b local and that will now contain the value 15 now print f a okay so now a is what a g we have changed to 13 so this print f a will print the value 13 upon termination of the function okay so let me just remind you the last statement that upon termination of function upon termination of function uh, r value is copied back r value is copied back to l value of actual l value of actual upon termination right so here l value of uh, r value of uh, r value of formal parameter r value is right now 13 uh, sorry r value is right now this one is 15 so that is r value and it will be copied back to the l value of actual and what is the l value of actual is your a g so now we'll do this that we'll take this 15 and we'll copy it back to the this position that is 15 and when you say print fa and that time it will print the value 15 so call by copy restore uh, is going to print the value is uh, uh, 13 and 15 okay so that is the answer of this question and you can see the difference go through this uh, now step through step through this uh, uh, that call by copy restore and it will give you the result as 13 and 15. So as I told you that uh, sequence, uh, sequence is very important. Sequence of operation is very important and stick to this otherwise answer will be wrong. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.